Inhale this, but do not touch. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we both drink and find out who is right and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I'm not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. You're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked! You've given everything away! I know where the poison is! Then make your choice. I will! And I choose... What in the world can that be? What? Where? I don't see anything. Oh, well, I, I could have sworn I saw something. I, no matter. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. First... Let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. <laughs> you guessed wrong. You only think I guessed wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched glasses when your back was turned. Ha <laughs> ha, you fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well-known is this. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> okay, so what Wesley does is he puts the poison in both glasses, um, so whichever Vizzini chooses, um, he would die and Wesley would still live because he has been building up an immunity to the poison for the past five years by taking it in small doses. Um, this is called Mithridatism. Um, it is used for peanut allergies. Uh, it doesn't work with every type of poison because some poisons, um, when you take it in small doses like that, it'll just build up the toxin, the toxins in your body and just kill you, but over a longer period of time. Um, it dates back to Mithridates, who was the king of Pontus. Uh, his, the legend says that his father was killed by being poisoned, so he became paranoid that he was going to be poisoned, and he began taking small doses of different types of poison in order to build up an immunity. One possible uh, real-life equivalent um, to the poison used uh, would be sodium fluoracetate. Uh, it is naturally found in Australia. It is colorless, odorless, but it does have a somewhat saline taste to it, so it is not a perfect match. Another real-life equivalent um, could be thallium sulfate. It is odorless, it is tasteless, and it is colorless. However, it is highly toxic and unlikely that humans would be able to build up tolerance for it. <laughs> 